All right, so welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So, today, guys, we're doing my predictions for the second leg of the European competition. So, we're going to go ahead and do a quick once we have 12 games to go. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. So, let's start with the first game which you got here is Dortmund versus Atletico Madrid. Um, I think this will be a very interesting game. I think this will be a back and forth. I'm going to say this actually finishes in a. Uh, I'm going to say a 2 2 draw. I'm going to say 2 2 draw. I think it'll be a high scoring game. Uh, but I just think Atletico Madrid, I just don't trust Dortmund to keep a clean sheet, man. I just don't trust them to. I think Dortmund will actually score first. Uh, player of the match, this is difficult. I'm going to say... Sancho feels the obvious one, but I don't think it's going to be Sancho. You know what? I'm going to say Griezmann. I think Griezmann's going to come with clutch. I think he's going to do it just like the first thing. Barcelona versus PSG. I think we got this in the bag. I think Barcelona should be able to make it through. Um... Like I said, the only thing I'm a bit worried about is the fact that our midfield's a bit hampered because obviously Christensen won't be there as a DM and neither Roberto. So I think this is a good indication that Pedri's going to start. Pedri should start. So I'm going to say Barca wins this one 2-1 in the second leg. And I think Barca's going to get take care of business, man. Take care of business, indeed. And this time around, I actually think it's going to be Lewandowski. I think Lewandowski's going to be the player of the match. Uh, next up, it is Bayern Munich versus Arsenal. Ooh, it's a tough one, man. Tough one, tough one. I'm going to say Bayern edges us, though, because they're at the Allianz Arena. Arsenal just got lost to Villa earlier today. I could see this being like maybe like a 1-0 Bayern, potentially 2-1. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to say 3-1, actually. I'm going to say 3-1. I'm going to say 3-1 Bayern Munich. I think they'll get the, take care of business. You know what? Actually, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go 2-0. I'm going to go 2-0 Bayern. 2-0 Bayern. Um... They'll do it. And I'm going to go with player of the match for Bayern Munich is, of course, Harry Kane. Harry Kane is going to be my guy. He's going to turn up. Um, Gnabry, Sané to do well as well. Man City versus Real Madrid. I think Man City's got this. I'm going to say Man City's going to win 3-1 against Real Madrid. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to play my booster for Man City because I'm very confident this one. And my man of the match, I think KDB is going to start, and I think KDB is going to have a great game. KDB typically turns up against Manchester uh, Real Madrid. So, hopefully, KDB starts. Moving on to the Europa League, we got here Marseille Benfica. This is a very interesting one, guys. Can Marseille take care of business in the second leg? We know Benfica, the second leg, are going to probably go defensive. And I'm going to say Marseille win this 2 0 after extra time um, and move on to semifinals. But I think it's going to go to extra time. I think it's going to go to extra time. And you know I'm going to pick for Marseille. It's Obama. Obama is going to come a clutch. West Ham versus Bayer Leverkusen. I think West Ham is going to win this game. But I have a feeling Bayer Leverkusen is going to score a late goal. I'm going to say West Ham wins 2-1. But that will be enough for Bayer Leverkusen to advance. So I'm going to say West Ham gets to take care of business. I think Kudos is going to score. But I just got a feeling that Leverkusen is going to score a late cons uh, late goal. And I wouldn't be surprised like Hoffman scores. Or like um, uh, Schick scores. Or Boniface. I just got a feeling what I just feel like West Ham is going to... Uh, Leverkusen is going to do some late drama. Adelante to Liverpool. I'm going to say Adelante to 1, Liverpool 2. I think Liverpool will win this game, but it will not be enough to do the comeback. So I'm going to say Liverpool can take care of business, but I don't think they're going to score enough goals to do the comeback. And I'm going to say Salah scores. Next up, Roma versus Milan is a very difficult one. Probably the one I'm... I, I The other three I'm confident with, but this one I'm really not confident with whatsoever because Roma, honestly, are looking good. They have the second leg at home. Milan, on the other hand, they're under some massive pressure defensively. They're looking very sketchy. I think this is going to be an interesting one. I could see this one being a, a very interesting one. I could see this one being a high scoring. I have a feeling Milan's going to win on 3-2, goes to penalties, and I got a feeling Milan's going to pull through on penalties. I got a feeling. I don't know, man. Something tells me this will be a back-and-forth game. Um, And, yeah, I think Milan's going to do it. I think Pulisic will show up, man. And my booster... Which one am I playing my booster for? I think I'm going to play my booster for Liverpool Atalanta. I think I'm that one I'm most confident with. Liverpool's going to win, but they won't do enough to come back. Next up, Conference League. Fiorentina versus Pleasant. I'm going to say Fiorentina just this is 1 0. Um, Pleasant doesn't really score a lot of goals. So I think Fiorentina is going to get it, do this to throw. And I'm going to say Fiorentina wrap it up. And I'm going to Nozola to score. And I think I'm probably going to play my booster for this one. Next up, it is Aston Leo versus Aston Villa. I'm going to say this one finishes in a 1 1 draw. I think Lille will actually score first in this game, but I think Aston will equalize. And yeah, just got a feeling that Lille, I just got a feeling that what um, Emmy Martinez is going to be clutch. And yeah, I'm going to go John the David. 
Fenerbahce versus Olympiacos. I think Fenerbahce is going to win the game 2-1, but I think Olympiacos is going to win all penalties. So, I think Fenerbahce will win the game, though. And Fenerbahce, my goal scorer is going to be Dzeko. Um, and Park versus Club Brugge. I'm going to say Club Park wins 2-0 against Club Brugge after extra time, and I think Park is going to do this. I think Park is going to do this, and I'm going to say, and for the goal scorer for Park, it's going to be tough. I'm going to say Zervikic. I'm going to go with him to score the goal. So those are my predictions, guys, for the uh, H12 games, man. Let me know your predictions, comments below. Please run a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.